Well, good morning, everybody. It's Saturday morning, and it's around 6.30. And, um, thought I'd do this video, and we finally reached our first milestone. I'm, I'm really excited about it. Made it to 100 subscribers, but now we're at 102. So, I'm going to tell you how to, um, how to get, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I just went blank. <laughs> um, I'll tell you how to get signed up for the giveaway, because I promised y'all a giveaway at 100 subscribers, so we're going to do it. So what you need to do is, um, watch this video, and then hit like, leave a comment and share it and you will be entered into the giveaway so but anyway i want to give my greatest appreciation for everybody that has subscribed and supported my channel i really appreciate each and every one of y'all so and i hope i'm giving y'all some good information i hope i'm helping a lot of y'all out and i mean i know i'm not the best painter there is but I'm no by no means any a great artist or anything, but I just I pick patterns and I, I paint them and try to paint them the best that I can. So anyway, let's get started today. Today I have a 110 plus one high quality blank from Backwater Outfitters, and we're gonna paint him today, and we're gonna paint him in a ghost rainbow trout pattern so let's get started so our first color we're gonna take createx pearlized silver and we're just gonna spray over the bait we're not gonna put up this is gonna be our base is this silver so because we want him to be transparent where you can see through so we're going to take and just start spraying. heat setting real quick and of course the always the um, air compressor kicks off right at the very start figured I'd do this video right behind that other video because I'm fixing to be busy so I got to paint um, 20 20 swim baits part of them in bluegill pattern the other part in perch pattern so I'll be busy for a little bit so I figured I'd just get these videos out there before I started on that because once I start that I won't have time to do a video but like I said you know before if there's something that you'd like to see painted or see me try to paint I mean just just leave me a comment and let me know and I'll do my best to paint whatever y'all would like and if if you make a suggestion on something to paint if I get it painted and it looks pretty good um we may do a giveaway on him it. 
Yes, I'm back to using my badger again. So, but anyway, we're gonna heat set this one. I'll be right back. All right, now the next color is gonna be Createx Pearlized Lime Green. And you have to really shake this up good because if you don't, it'll kind of almost come out clear if it don't get shook up real good. So, but anyway, all right. So now we're just gonna go over his. Ah, those, this bait's a little long. We're just gonna go right over his back with this. Like that. We still want that metallic look. Like you're getting right there. And then we're just gonna do to the lateral line with this. And that's what we want right there. So let me clean out my airbrush and I'll heat set him and we'll be right back. Okay, now our next color is going to be this Createx Pearl Magenta, the 5302. So and this is what we're going to do for his pink lateral line. And I don't know how good I'll be able to do this because the camera is right in front of me. So we'll just have to give her a whirl and see what happens. I have to make sure I don't spray this real hard because it will not be good. But it, since it's pearl, I'm not going to turn my pressure down. I have my pressure around probably around 24, 25 pounds. So this is where the trigger control comes in. But we're just going to try to follow that lateral line. Then I'm going to show you all a little trick on these lateral lines. Alright. I'll clean out my airbrush. We'll be right back. Okay. Now I took and um, see if I can get all that pink out. 
Okay. So I took and I added um, pearlized silver back in my airbrush. And we'll just go over this pink a little bit. And then this gives it kind of a cool effect. It'll make that pink. It'll make it to where it's just silver and you can lightly see that pink. But then when you turn it, it shows up real good. Almost like translucent. So anyway, we'll just go right over this pink. And the heaviest below that lateral line. Then we'll just go right along that pink line. Until you get something that looks like that where it's almost all silver. And then when you turn it, you can see that pink comes back in there. Yeah, just like that. So, yeah, it kind of gives it that fade look. We'll just make sure we got both sides the same. Alright, so we'll heat set this and see if it's going to look right. Right there. See, that's how we have him now. So. Alright. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this. This is Wicked. Detail Black. 0051. And we're going to spray um, black dots above the lateral line. Kind of along the lateral line, above it, and over the back, and all that. With this. So, And we're going to use my Anarchy stencils stencil creature feature and we're going to use the small one and I think I have it out in my junk pile somewhere yes right there it is I know my boost not as clean as some but um, it, most of the stuff that's in my boost is what I use a lot so that way I have it in here and I'm, I can just grab it so anyway so we're just gonna start spraying this and you want to spray this at low pressure or it will it will kind of muddy up on you and everything so Then we want it just like that. <clears throat> just real, real subtle dots. Nothing just real thick or heavy on him.
just like that. But you notice how he still has that silver metallic look. It gives him that shine. Because a lot of your rainbow trout have that shine on them. So... something though. There we go. Well oh. and there's the dots on him. I just need to go over the side of the shoulders a little bit. In case I didn't, I know I told you that this is a um, Badger Velocity, but um, I don't remember. But anyway, that's what it, he looks like so far. So anyway, um, this this airbrush that I'm spraying is a Badger Velocity VR1, and it has a point two one. Wow, can't get the lid off that. It has a .21 needle in it, so it's a pretty small needle, but it also helps you to do detail work. And yes, if I have <clears throat> if I have access, I'm one of those that um, will put it back into the bottle. So save paint. This stuff's not cheap. Especially Wicked. Wicked paint's a little bit higher. I buy a lot of my paints from, I order them from Spray Gunner, but I get some at Hobby Lobby, which Spray Gunner is cheaper than Hobby Lobby. But it's fixing to get to that. I'm going to have to put in a big order of paints with Spray Gunner before it gets cold because you don't want to order that paint when it gets cold and then they ship it from Florida because stays on those trucks and that stuff if it freezes I mean it gets so thick you can't hardly use it and you have to thin the fire out of it I did that once because I was in couldn't get my paint at Hobby Lobby and I was needing some because I had a bunch of orders I needed to get painted and I ordered it and it got super cold and it was pretty thick so that's just a little helpful advice for y'all. So I'm sure a lot of people figure out not to order it in the winter time, but some of us we have to do it to learn a lesson. <laughs> but anyway, so our next color is gonna be the old trusty wicked moss detail moss green 0059. So this is probably one of my favorite. I always keep three or four of these bottles around. So at this, this and the detail sepia, um, gotta have them. And I keep a lot, a lot of it around because I use a lot of the moss green in the sepia. So anyway.
so we're gonna take and just go over the green with this moss green but <clears throat> this moss green is one of those colors the more layers you put on the darker it gets so we're not gonna go just real dark with it Excuse me. I'm gonna have to go back over that <clears throat> gill plate with pink. I didn't mean to cover it up. And then there. But we maintained that metallic look because we weren't <clears throat> spraying these paints just super heavy. Just real light. But anyway, there's the trout pattern right there. Pretty realistic. So <clears throat> let me clean this out and then I'm going to load that pink back in my chamber and we're gonna hit those gill plates real quick because if you look most of your rainbow trout they have pink on their gill plates so and this is probably this will be one of the baits in the giveaway and i'm probably gonna paint a, a smaller ass crank bigger ass crank probably a wake bait um i got some dt ko's and I've got some um, white sided coffin bills. I got a couple of deep divers. I don't paint a lot of deep divers. Um, my area, we don't have a lot of deep lakes, but you know, if someone orders deep divers, I'll, I'll put in an order for some deep divers and I'll paint them. But I normally don't because, like I said, we don't. These lakes up here in the Texas Panhandle just aren't very deep. Most of them, most of them you're lucky if you 20 foot deep. So, I mean, it's not just super deep. A lot of times, deepest crankbait I use is probably a 10, 12, 10 to 15 footer. So... Anyway, so let's get this airbrush shooting pink and then we're going to do those gill plates real quick. You'll be able to see, him, see everything better whenever we get him clear coated. But anyway, I'm going to tell you something too. That, um, I usually spray this on, but it'll plug. And I, I don't want to plug up my airbrush. So 
so um, and this kind of gives it a blue effect over the back which I had a good friend of mine on Facebook give me an idea about mixing it into my epoxy I'm trying to oh it's this right here what I'll do is this deco art it's enchanted shimmer and it is the blue and what it'll do is it will give this back a blue effect so anyway so that's what we'll do when we epoxy it so whenever you see this after it gets epoxied it's going to have a blue shimmer over the back the green and that's where we're going to put it so but anyway that's all i have today so appreciate y'all watching and like i said if you want to enter up for the giveaway just hit like leave a comment and share this video and thank every one of y'all for subscribing to my channel really appreciate it we'll see you on the next one well everyone here's that rainbow trout that we painted all done and you can see that blue kind of has that blue flash to it but anyway there he is thank y'all for watching See you on the next one.